Again, uh, welcome to our worship this uh, third Sunday in Advent. Uh, are there, uh, in addition to the prayer list that was included in the uh, mailing or the email that you received, are there additional prayer requests that you would like included in the service uh, in our prayers today? Uh, if so, you can uh, unmute your mics and just uh, um, call out or, or share with us your, your prayer request. Pastor, uh, a good friend of mine uh, is in the hospital with COVID. Mm. Um, his name is Bill, Bill Busser, uh, and he went in. He's now got some blood clots in his lungs, so he's okay. not doing well. So if we could keep him in our prayers, I'd appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Pastor, Any other? yes. Um, the uh, former executive director of our adoption agency, his name is Richard Perlman, had an aneurysm on Saturday or Friday. Mm. So I'd like to add him to our prayer list as well. Thank you. Um, I don't remember who has the prayers today. Um, and I don't have the list in front of me. It, it looks like Diane and Pastor Paul both um, like to speak. I'd like to hear it. Well, I just, just would like yeah. to say, maybe we could add a special prayer for the shipments of the vaccine, which are now being shipped. Thank you. That they work as they are hopefully expected to do. Right. We can get this. Well, you can hear, listen, that I can't hear it. Okay. Um, let's uh, continue with uh, first our children's prayer and then confession and forgiveness. I met with the children uh, this morning at nine o'clock and uh, <laughs> excuse me, and shared this prayer with them as we, we do every Sunday. Uh, feel free to repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our friends. Please keep us all healthy. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, you know how to get your and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given you. ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your spirit so that we may live and serve you in newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were in our sin, when we were dead in sin. And he, God made us alive together with Christ. By grace, we have been saved. In the name of Jesus, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ might live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Shine on your chest. 
longing for food, many are hungry, longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others, shed until all are fed. Christ be our light, shining. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Stir up the wills of all who look to you, Lord God, and strengthen our faith in your coming, that transformed by grace, we may walk in your way, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Reading from Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels, for as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done 
Thessalonians. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything, hold fast to what is good, abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy Gospel according to St. John, the first chapter. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. They asked him, what then, are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you a prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees, and they asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor a prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. 
the gospel of the Lord. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I hope that you can feel the anticipation growing. Each week, another candle. Each week, we hear both from the Old Testament and, in the, and from the New Testament, we hear readings about expectation, about hope. These are exactly, these are exactly the messages that we desperately need to hear. Diane mentioned in earlier the, the, the hope that we live with right now, that the vaccines that are now being delivered, that these, these vaccines, we hope, we pray that this vaccine will overcome the scourge of COVID-19. We live in hope and anticipation. I know that there are some in our congregation, in our community, who are considered frontline workers, uh, and others who are living in uh, care facilities. You all are going to be the first to receive this, what we hope will be life-saving gift. The rest of us, we've got to wait. We have to sit back until it's our turn to join the growing fraternity, the growing community of people who are no longer threatened by this virus. In some ways, our situation in 2020 is similar to Isaiah's situation, 500 years, a little bit more than 500 years before Jesus was born. The author of the 61st chapter of Isaiah, scholars now refer to as third Isaiah. This is the third prophet who wrote under that name. The first one wrote when Jerusalem was being threatened by the Babylonians. They were surrounded and it didn't look good. The second Isaiah wrote when the Babylonians had in fact conquered Jerusalem and taken their leaders into exile in the capital of Babylon. And there in exile, they longed for a return to Jerusalem. And now at the time that the third Isaiah is writing, the Babylonians have been defeated by the Persians. And the Persians, the Bible even says that God calls their king, Cyrus, his anointed. In Hebrew, that's Messiah. Cyrus is the Messiah that God anoints to free God's people, and they move back to Jerusalem and begin the process of rebuilding that city and that temple. They're living in a time of great anticipation that, that the scourge of exile is about to be removed from them. And then when St. John writes his gospel, he sets it at the time of the coming of Jesus and his forerunner, John the Baptist. Remember the context. 
Now the Roman Empire is occupying Jerusalem and all the surrounding territory. The Israelites, now called the Jews, are again not free. They're again held captive by an oppressive force, a force that doesn't let them celebrate their being the people of God. It's like they're in the wilderness yet again, hoping, hoping against hope that the Messiah will come, will deliver them from this odious occupation and will once again help to build the kingdom of God centered at the throne of David. In each of these times, 2,500 years ago, 2,000 years ago, and now, people waited anxiously, waited anxiously for God to break into their lives, into our lives, to break in powerfully to bring about God's will for all of God's people. During Advent, we focus both on the anticipation, which includes waiting, but also the promise, the hope that God is not done with us yet, that God has at least one more trick up his sleeve. The ultimate, the gift for all people, for every time, the gift of a savior, the gift of salvation. As we wait, we watch, we anticipate, we hope, we can anticipate by letting that light already shine in our lives, letting that light grow through the weeks grow in us so that the world sees glimmers of hope through us. In Jesus' name, amen.
We profess our faith with the church throughout the world. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all, of all that is seen that and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in one Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our response this morning will be, hear us, O God, and the response is, your mercy is great. God of power and might, shine your radiance and come quickly to this weary world. Hear our prayers for everyone in need. And let us take a moment to offer our brief silent prayers for those things that are of concern to us. <clears throat> God of preachers and messengers, you have entrusted your church with the work of proclaiming good news. Strengthen the witness of bishops, pastors, deacons, church musicians, lay leaders, and all people who contribute their prayers and talents to public worship, especially our leaders here at Grace and other parishes in our area. Embed your word in their hearts. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of every living creature, you announce the year of your favor for all creation. Extend your kindness and relief <clears throat> to endangered animals and plants. Strengthen the human beings who rely on the rhythms of nature to make their living. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of all peoples and nations, you plant us as your oaks of righteousness and ask us to care for one another. Be present with the leaders of every nation as they, as they govern, and be with those who look for a peaceful solution to the complexities of the world in which we live. Give them a spirit of righteousness that your goodness and mercy is revealed through their actions. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of exiles and wanderers, you repair what was once destroyed. We pray for people who have been displaced from their homes by fire, flood, earthquake, storm, and other disasters around the world. Support and in our own nation. Support the work of Lutheran World Relief, Lutheran Disaster Response, and all disaster relief organizations in their recovery efforts. 
Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of the powerful and helpless, you clothe us with strength when our spirits are weak and weary. Bestow your spirit upon this parish and empower us to comfort people who turn to you in times of need, especially Landon, Tess, Terry, Linda, Phyllis, Jim, Joanne, Melba, Irene, Alice, Paul and Ridget, Britt Margaret, Ginny, Loretta, Levon, Corey, Carl and Bev, Debbie, Eleanor, Rich, Phyllis, Dick, Jerry and Darlene, Eloise, Rick and Sandy, Ruth, Rob, Veronica, Joan, Bob, Lou, and we remember Bill with COVID. We also remember Richard and remember others whom we name and are allowed or to ourselves at this time. May your healing and strengthening presence be with those who have suffered and be with those families who've lost a loved one. Make your church a place of refuge and healing. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We especially remember on this day all those first responders and those who are working with COVID patients and continue to be with them and be with those who are delivering the vaccine and those who receive it. Enable each person to understand the importance of receiving this medication so that we can return, maybe not to the old normal, but to at least some level of interacting with each other. Continue to strengthen those who risk their lives for taking care of those who have contracted COVID and other illnesses. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Lord, we pray for our military personnel serving in difficult parts of the world. Continue to be with them as they are separated from family and friends in this special time of the year and enable them to work together and be with those who are trying to clean up the, the mess of at Fort Hood. Continue to be with those who truly value the values that the military has in serving others. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We also remember one Lord, one God, you show us a splendor of diversity and the beauty of unity in your own divine life. Make us who come from many nations with many languages, a united people that delights in our many different gifts. Be with those who, who maintain our democracy and those you have given to entrust with the maintenance of the democracy Enable those, every person who's been elected or re-elected, to make sure there is peace and justice in our land. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We remember and celebrate with those today whose birthdays, Carrie Nickel, Nickel, Jennifer Roth, anniversaries, Al, Alan and Elaine Clark, baptism, Steve Hanna, Cindy Perone. We also are mindful of others to whom we're celebrating various occasions and uh, the birth of children and other ev special events in their lives. Continue to be with them in this time. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Lord God of sinners and saints, you offer joy even in the midst of our grief. We are grateful for our beloved and perfect people whose lives testified to your radiant love. We're especially mindful that you be with those who have suffered loss because of COVID and other, other losses at this time of the year, enable them to know your presence and strength in this time of difficulty. We're especially mindful today of Santa Lucia, whose life was an illustration of caring for others, both in Italy and in Sweden, and anoint all who mourn with the oil of gladness. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Draw near to us, O God, and receive our prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's uh, share the peace as we're able to in our uh, individual circumstances. And uh, as a part of our offering today, I, I again want to uh, encourage you to support the food ministries that we have uh, 
historically supported uh, uh, through the years, both the ELCA hunger fund and the, uh, the pantries that, uh, that we contribute to. Um, as most of you know, uh, there is uh, a, a doubling and a tripling of the needs on the part of the uh, food ministries around us. And I hope that, uh, that we as, as a community will step up to, uh, to help to fill that need. King of kings is near, that every hill and valley a level road appear. Then greet the King of glory, foretold in sacred story, Hosanna to Let us pray. Merciful God, as grains of wheat scattered upon the hills were gathered together to, be, to become one bread, so let your church be gathered together from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. For yours is the glory through Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he blessed it and gave it to them, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. We join in the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Come and eat and drink the body of Christ given and shed, the body and blood of Christ given and shed for you for the forgiveness of your sins. May this gift of the living body and blood of Christ strengthen us and keep us in God's grace. Amen. Go ahead, Gianna. Let us pray. Oh God, we give you thanks that you have set before us this feast, the body of, and blood of your son. By your spirit, strengthen us to serve all in need and to give ourselves away as bread for the hungry. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord's face shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with grace and give us God's peace. Amen.
angels announced with shouts of mirth, give who brings you life to earth, set every peak and valley humming, with the word the Lord is coming, people Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, before we uh, open up uh, for uh, coffee hour, open up all the microphones, uh, I wanna check and see if anyone has uh, announcements. I know Libby sent out by way of, uh, um, what's constant contact, a, um, uh, message from social ministry committee about uh, uh, numerous ways that uh, we are encouraged to uh, support uh, uh, needs in our community in the coming weeks. Uh, Libby, do you have anything more you want to say about that? I'm not sure if Libby and Dan are on. Yeah, um, well, uh, uh, I have lots of things to say. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just got back from La Trinidad. Um, our car was stuffed full with, um, with winter coats and sweatshirts and sweaters and uh, Christmas cookies and, and a little bit of food. They, they're making their own pork today, but they are, um, it's pretty incredible what they do. They are doing a service like us today on Zoom, yet they have church members in the background working to pull together a meal to, to feed those in need. Um, and they're much appreciative of, of our efforts. Um, what I was hoping to do, Pastor, is, uh, is see if there are people who are interested in purchasing a gift for children in the La Trinidad congregation. Um, but I would, so I, and I have a, like a, a board with their names and ages that I can post and people can decide. And then if there's, we also have some additional money from other campaigns with La Trinidad. So if we don't get sponsors for everyone, that's okay. But so I thought maybe I could go last. Okay, that I was just going to suggest that if there are other announcements, um, let's let's do those and then go back to Libby for the um, auction. Pastor, yes, uh, there was some discussion last Sunday about doing a uh, trying to do a cookie walk, and uh, through discussions, it was decided that we're going to postpone that at this time just to keep everyone safe. So I know there was some discussion after service last week, but we're just going to table that for now. Thank you. I heard the suggestion that perhaps, uh, uh, perhaps Valent uh, Valentine's Day or uh, St. Patrick's or some some time down the road might be a better time uh, for us to, to do that. Uh, thank you very much for that. Other announcements? If I don't I don't see any others, so let's uh, kick it back to Libby. Mike, can you give me an opportunity to share my screen? Yes, I did. You are co-host. Give me a second here. It's working. So many buttons to push. <laughs> Just a quick reminder that you still can give uh, money from Alternative. Uh, and this money should be sent to church with Alternative in the, in the memo and what you'd like to buy. And we'll make those arrangements and send that money uh, to Lutheran, uh, the Church's Good Gifts program um, uh, between the holidays. Um, we also are sending $25 uh, gift certificates to families in District 21 and 26. And that campaign is also through church. You do not have to buy the gift card yourself. You can contribute uh, to, and again, right in the memo, District 21, District 26, and um, we will get those gift cards delivered. The school districts requested Walmart um, somewhat poignantly because families can choose to buy a gift for their child or they can buy food if that's what they need. So I would, I would encourage that. Libby, that due date is tomorrow? Uh, that due date, yes. Is it, well, it's really today, but it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Anytime you get it in, <laughs> we'll work it out. Just want to clarify. And then finally, this is the new thing. Let's see if I can, can do this. So um, in the Latino community, there is a tradition to give gifts on Epiphany. 
Um, and when Jen reached out to me uh, about the first week in December, uh, Jen at La Trinidad, if there was any way we could uh, sponsor children's gifts for Epiphany for their church, I said we'd give it a try. Um, and these are the names and the ages and the genders that um, she supplied me with. Uh, I'm willing to be a shopper if people would prefer to just give money, but I know there's some people that are missing sort of the, you know, the human element of giving a gift. Um, and if there's anyone who would like to choose and, and claim a, a child off of here and, and make arrangements to drop a wrapped gift at church or at my house, um, I'm happy to, uh, to share that shopping uh, opportunity. Hi, Libby. Um, the Stidhite family would like to take the two 15-year-olds, um, Ashley and Christ Christian. Okay, so I'm gonna, ooh, can I type? I was hoping I could, all right, I can't present and type at the same time, so give me a second. I'm sorry, everything's gonna get a little smaller. <laughs> Spell stood height for me, S-T-U. <laughs> then T-H-E-I-T. Thank you. Speak up. We'll take, we'll, Libby. We'll yes. take Orlando and Julius. All right, Orlando, and this is the Castens, right? Right. And Jules wants Julius. <laughs> Julius, got it, okay. <laughs> and Orlando. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Hi, Libby. Karen Root will take um, Alex, the three-year-old girl. Three-year-old girl, Alex. Great, thank you. Go out of the house. All right. Yeah, okay, Libby. The church. I hear the Rogers. First, yep. I will give you $40. I'll let you shop. Whoever you want to pick on there. Okay. All right. If you send uh, send that to church. Okay. Uh, for La Trinidad. And uh, and then I'll, I'll shop and I'll get reimbursed from church. Okay. Libby, this is Suzanne. Okay. I'll take, I'll take Ruthie and Serenity, the two eight-year-old girls up at the top. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. And this is Kathy Bender Schwick. The Schwicks will take the two one and a half year old, uh, Javian and Jacal. Got it. They are twins, I believe. Oh. So you Libby, do you happen to know anything else, or can we get any more information about these kids? That's not like too invasive for them. I can try. I'll try. Okay. I don't understand what Susan said. She wanted some information about the kids. Anybody else interested? Libby, Minda will take um, Emily, the 14 year old. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Libby. Hey, Libby, I'll just I'll just drop the money off at your house. Okay. <laughs> you trust me, huh? Of course I do. <laughs> Cause God'll get you. <laughs> Libby. Libby, this is Lori Droz. Okay. And I'd like to do uh, Kmar, 12 year old girl. Looking, I'm looking. Kmar, Kmar yep. And it's D R O D Z. D R O Z D. Ah, I knew it. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, um, can, can I ask you to do the shopping for me and, and I'll bring the money to church? Okay. Dan's writing that down for me. Thank you. When is it when is it due by? It is due by the second of Jan. Well, let me make sure I got this right. I'm gonna take them down on that first Sunday in January. So do on the second so I can take it on the third. Okay, can I give me, does anyone have the five-year-old boy? Five-year-old boy. No, Adrian. Adrian? Yeah. I'm blanking out on your last name. Lola. Me? Yes. <laughs> That's all right, Loletta. Thank you. L-A-U-L-E-T-T-A? -E you got it, yeah. Okay, like, you know, sometimes the pressure of remembering names, just like, I can't do it. <laughs> Libby, Libby, it's Iris. Oh, I'll take Karina. The Hi, Iris. Who would you like? The 18-year-old girl. Oh, okay. 18? Mm -hmm. The girl. 
Yep. All right. Got it. We'll Do you have any suggestions or have they given you any suggestions? They have not, but you know what? I will I will contact Jen. I think well and, and we can talk too. We'll we'll figure something out. Okay. Libby, Libby. I'll take Jalen, the 13 year old girl. Um, you know Jaden, Jalen. Nancy. Yeah, right. Wait, sorry, I'm looking for her, Nancy. Where is she? Second row. Jalen, you've or Nancy, you've met Jalen. She's Judy's daughter. Whose daughter? Judy. Judy. Oh, all okay. right. All right, you gotta clean that up, Maria. You met her. Church. Anybody else? Yeah, one, one second, Libby. Well, 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 I'll get back to you, Libby. We'll, we'll pick one. Okay. Time, we'll pick one. Okay. I'm in late. Libby. Libby. Yes. I can take uh, Angel, nine-year-old boy. And this is Cindy, right? Cindy Minnelli, yeah. Okay. Yep, right there. Okay. We almost got bingo here on this fourth line. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't really my intent. <laughs> this is looking great. All right, we'll close it up. And if anybody wants to call me because they want a little more time to think about it, I've, I've got this and, and I'll be doing shopping as well. I'll see if I can get some additional suggestions from Jen and get back to people. The good news is we have until January 2nd. So all this crazy running around before Christmas, you can wait and move this to the week after. <laughs> Thank you, Libby. And thanks to Libby Thank and to other members of the social minister for the speakers. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to buy. I'll just get the money. She'll have fun. Thanks to the social ministry committee. Any any other announcements um, for everybody before we just open things up? I don't see any. Uh, anyone with an announcement? So um, get your coffee and start chatting. Very good. Thank you. Do you oh, I do have, I'm sorry, I do have two, two uh, announcements. Uh, one is to remind you Wednesday evening, we'll have our uh, third uh, uh, Advent Vespers or Advent evening, uh, evening prayer. Um, I have gotten some really positive feedback from a bunch of folks about the uh, the experience, even, even though it's online. Um, so I, I hope that you will uh, uh, plan to uh, participate uh, Wednesday evening at seven o'clock. Also for those of you who have uh, youth, youths or young adult college, or basically college or high school kids in your household, um, Tuesday evening, uh, we are having a, uh, a Zoom meeting, um, kind of a holiday party, um, uh, as it were, um, for uh, our high school and uh, college, our high school youth and college young adults. Um, I, there should be an email going out tomorrow to remind you, uh, but if you've got uh, one of those uh, 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 young adult no, youth and young adult, it's yeah, yeah, I think. Um, in, in any case, uh, we'd love to have them uh, participate in a, uh, it'll be a, a, about 45 minute uh, Zoom meeting this Tuesday evening, seven o'clock, okay. uh, same, uh, same login as for Sunday morning. Thanks everybody.